Hi there, and welcome to this Maximum. So what I wanna share with you today is a social experiment that was done a long time ago by the Washington Post at a subway in the middle of Washington, DC. So the experiment was this, okay? There was a violinist by the name of Joshua Bell who went to the subway and he played classical music with his violin for 45 minutes at this bustling metro stop in the middle of Washington, DC. Now it was calculated that thousands of people walked by him in that 45 minutes. Now whether that was on their way uh, in and out of the subway, and probably most of them were on their way to work, right? And a handful of people stopped and a handful of people clapped by the end of the session. And in that time, by the end, he had collected $30 in spare change, okay? But the real experiment was to see if anyone would actually notice it. Okay, because the reason why is this, no one knew but Joshua Bell is one of the greatest violinists in the world. And in that 45 minutes, he played one of the most intricate pieces of classical music ever composed. And not only that, but he did it using the violin that he played, which was a million dollar Stradivarius. Okay, what is even crazier is that just two days before he played in the subway, Joshua Bell sold out the Boston Theater where the cost of a seat to watch him perform averaged $100. Okay, what an amazing story, right? And I could probably stop here and you would get a lot out of this. However, the reason that I create these max moments is because I always want to take these great stories and then extract the real lesson and then share with you how you can apply it to your own life so that you can start to live at the next level. And I believe there's two big takeaways from this story. Okay, so the first one is this. Extraordinary is all around us all the time. Okay, extraordinary moments, extraordinary opportunities, extraordinary people, but we don't always see them because we're not always looking for them. See, much like people in the subway who just walk right past Joshua Bell, we don't notice extraordinary in our own life and we walk right, and we walk right past it because we're too busy, right? We're too busy caught up in other things, things we're too busy thinking about or things that we have to do, or all the problems that we have or all the ways life isn't fair. Right? So much so that we walk right by the moments of opportunities and the people that have the power to change our life. Because you see, where focus goes, energy flows. And what we focus on, we're going to feel. And what we focus on, we're going to get more of. So like the people in the subway that day, you must stop and hear the music because it might just change your life. Now, the second takeaway is this. You might be Joshua Bell and you might have something extraordinary to share with the world. But the problem is you're currently sharing your extraordinary talent in an ordinary environment. So no one is noticing or appreciating what you're doing. And maybe that is causing you to doubt yourself or second guess yourself or second guess the path that you're on or whether you should keep going or even worse, like maybe give up because it doesn't seem worth it. And if this is you, then what I want to say is this. Don't quit. Don't quit because someone has, st has not stopped to hear the music that you're playing. The truth is you have something extraordinary inside you that the world needs, and thus it is your responsibility to share it. So look at it this way. Joshua Bell played the exact same piece of music at a subway in Washington, DC, and in that sold out theater in Boston within the space of two days. The only difference was the environment he played it in, not the extraordinary gift that he was sharing. And that is why you must keep sharing your gift with the world because when you finally share it in an environment that wants it, needs it, yearns for it and appreciates it, then I promise you this, extraordinary things will happen in your life. Now I'll leave you with this. Whether you need to stop for a moment to hear the music or you need to keep playing your music so others can stop and listen to it, just know, extraordinary is all around us all the time. So choose to make today a great day. And as always, choose to live life to the max. And I'll see you next time.